Alrighty, <clears throat> just showing you where the knock sensor is on the motor. Um, so you've got the driver's seat out, and uh, I've got me padding, it's kind of like collapsing there, so it makes it a bit tricky for me to show you. But anyway, I'm getting close, I can show you. On the situation, eh? Hang on a second. Okay, Here you can see down there. Make sure I'm putting it the right thing here. There we go. So your knock sensor is on the under the driver side here. And, uh, so we get a bit of a better viewing on that. Uh, camcorder doesn't exactly want to focus in there. Sorry guys, this is not so easy. Every time I try and look myself, I get in the shade. Uh, I should rather put shade over it and I can't see. So what I'll do, for starters, I've, I've never had to change one, so um, I wouldn't really know, but I would assume by removing this one engine mount here, there's at least a two inch drop there if I was to remove that engine mount <clears throat> and then just let the motor drop down and rest without the mount in between that should give me enough leverage enough room in there to get my arm in and uh, replace that sensor without having to drop the whole motor I'm not going to do that unless I have to uh, that's just going to the extreme of doing that for no reason at all but <clears throat> that's what I would do if it was me to start off with I don't think you have to drop the whole motor and gearbox just to change that sensor seeing that I can I can clearly see it from here I just wish I could show you guys a bit better but I could almost touch that I wonder if I can uh, yes I can only just but I can Oh, what a shame about the lighting. I can see that better than the cam can. But, uh, I wonder if I can just do a little bit of. Give me a second. Whoa! Ah, oh, jeez. It'd be handy if you had two or three hands at times, I'll tell you. Yes, you can. <clears throat> you might have been able to um, just get away with getting the harness out of your way a little bit. Undoing all these guys, get the harness out of your way. I think you could actually get that without dropping the motor. <clears throat> Just give me a second, see if I can get the wires up out of the way a little bit. So, you can see your knock sensor, the bolt pattern, the bolt there's. Um, it's right there. And I believe I could probably get to that if I was persistent enough. Undo these lines. Undo those lines there, just to make them so that I can move them about a bit. Get this harness out of my way. It'd be a big job, but uh, be a lot, hell of a lot easier than dropping the motor. And um, even just still to give yourself a bit of room, drop that engine mount out, let the motor drop, give it a bit more space. I think that would um, more than clear the room that you need to get that out. Being the location it's at and the size of the bolt, or the size of the fastener there, um, I don't know how, how much tension that is in there. You definitely couldn't get a... Um, torque wrench onto that without um, dropping the motor 
but uh, you should be able to um, yeah, you should be able to maneuver around and get to it uh, in all extremes. If you really wanted to, you could just you could cut up cut a hole on the top there um, to uh, get access to it with a fastener or uh, with a torque wrench rather. Uh, keeping in mind, it is double plated. As you can see here, it is double plated this whole area for the extra strength it needs because of the cover plates being removed. Feels like the whole area is double plated. <clears throat> okay, so a um, bit of specs on the cover here if anybody's interested in this stuff here. Okay, again, thanks for watching. I'll uh, make another one soon.